The key figureheads in charge of bringing eight games of Rugby World Cup 2015 to the Millennium Stadium met in Cardiff this week. As the countdown continues to the 2015 tournament, WRU Chief Executive Roger Lewis welcomed England Rugby Chief Executive Debbie Jevons to the Millennium Stadium. Preparations are going well. I, you know, I, we're in a great place. I think it's fair to say we're confident but not complacent because we're well aware there's a lot of work still to do. But I think if you'd have given me where we are right now, this far out, say a year ago, I'd have taken it. I mean, certainly just from a ticket sales perspective, when we went on sale in September, we had a ballot and every single match went to ballot at at least one price point. That was exceptional, so we're in, we're in a really good place. And your meeting today with, with Roger and your visit to, to Cardiff, what was the purpose of that? I think he, he was determined I would come here and say well done for Wales beating South Africa because he's reminded me of that at least a hundred times. But no, it was to come and see the stadium just to hear from him whether he was happy with the planning because we have a very close relationship with the stadium, with the union, because we're delivering it together. So we had, had a walk around and, and looked at the facilities. We're standing here in the change room which is just fantastic. So I think from where I'm at and where he's at, we're in a good place, we're, we're happy and what our job is is just to ensure that we deliver a stage on which the players can compete to the best of their ability and we're determined to do that. We have eight matches as you know here at the Millennium Stadium and in the last week we've sold over 100,000 tickets. Now that is phenomenal and of the eight matches we have here six have already sold over 50,000 tickets so it just shows that you know there is momentum behind the tournament there's momentum here in Wales and we're very very excited and indeed honoured to be bringing the Rugby World Cup here.